Walla Vlogs, episode 139, Miz and Max, still out here in Maryland, part three of the installment series. This time we have Miss Anna and her two beautiful Rottweilers featured on this episode. We dive into everything from her transition from Portugal to the States and her love for dogs and ultimately her love for the Rottweiler breed. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and as always, enjoy the content. Hi, I'm Anna Kolokithis, AKA Anna Ashley. 14 years ago, didn't know anything about a Rottweiler. I grew up actually with um, German Shepherds. Um, and I had had previous German Shepherds, but at the time, 14 years ago, I had Min Pins, Miniature Pinchers, and I've always wanted a big dog. I was used to having big dogs in the house, and these Miniature Pinchers, they're always under a blanket. Anytime anybody came to my house, they didn't even realize that I had four dogs. So, um, went to the mall one day to get a pair of shoes, and stopped at the pet store when they had pet stores. <laughs> I walked in and, and this little Rottweiler, she was four months old, not so little, but inside a small cage with these big lights on her. I just felt so sorry for her. And I asked the guy, how much is that dog? And he says, oh, she's on sale for $700 from a thousand. I said, I'll take her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Brought her home. My husband walks in the house. He says, whose dog is that? I said, it's yours. <laughs> Says, oh no take her back yeah <laughs> and um, I said I can't take her back so anyway five minutes later he's walking her down the street and we had her for 14 years she's an awesome dog nice what was her name Zoe 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 means life in Greek <laughs> awesome fits in with the family probably. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually from Portugal born in Portugal and uh, my aunt she had like 11 dogs <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I fell, up, fell in love with dogs. Um, not so much a cat person, I like cats, but I've never owned a cat. Uh, I don't know what it is about the dogs, I just love dogs. Um, always had dogs, born around dogs, um, came to the States, and my parents had German Shepherds. Um, fell in love with the German Shepherds. And uh, actually a Doberman also, my mom had a Doberman. My German Shepherd Grizzly, he chewed his way through a chain link fence. Wow. Trying to get to me. <laughs> he climbed over with his little feet and, and uh, one time he chewed right through the fence. Wow. Trying to get to me. Yeah. <laughs> very oh. protective breed, very sweet with the family. How old was you, if you remember when he did that? I was in my early 20s mm. when he did that, yeah. Um, yeah, Grizzly was his name. Uh, he was a big grizzly bear, like like my Leo over there. <laughs> I love the markings of the Rottweiler, the dark with the mahogany. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Because ultimately you, because I'm, I'm asking because you own miniature pinches and they kind of have the same markings as well, but they also come out with, is it a rust or a red? Right, so my miniature pinchers, I, uh, my first one was a red. She okay. was a redhead, fiery redhead, and she was a fiery little redhead. What was her name? <laughs> her name was Sydney. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so she's my first one that I had. She's about a year old. Again, I go to the pet store one day just to look with my seven-year-old son. He would not come home with, unless we bought him the male min pin, mm -hmm. which had that those markings. He's black with the with the rust. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He's nine months old. He comes in my house and gets my female pregnant. Mm. So now you have a litter. <laughs> so now I have a litter of uh, two, <laughs> which I kept. Yeah, okay. I kept. And they all live to be 14, 15, 16 years old. Nice. Yeah. So you had your own family and you was taking care of a family. Right. <laughs> Right, I had two boys and uh, and then a family of midpins, yes. Nice. And going to nursing school. <laughs> nice. Your husband took her on that first walk after he said, no, take it back. You know, whose dog was she? She was my dog. She was your dog. <laughs> she was my dog. I just, I just loved her. Um, at first, she bit me all over with her little puppy teeth. I was a bloody mess. I actually had to sit on her a couple of times to tell her who, who was boss. Um, but after that, she was, she was my dog. She followed me everywhere. Um, you know, she came from obviously a puppy mill and um, didn't have any training at all. She, she was food aggressive when mm -hmm. I got her. 
So um, if I went next to her when she was eating, she'd growl at me. She growled at me one time and that was it. I took the bowl away. I said, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, ever since I took that bowl away from her and, I, and then I gave it, I made her give me a kiss, teach her to give me a kiss and then she could have her, her food. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, she never growled at me. She was the best dog, nice. best dog. I just loved her so much. And then my men pins got older and they all passed away happily and I was left with just Zoe and I said, oh my gosh, I need another dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my husband like, no, we're not getting any more dogs. <laughs> yeah. And I was on Facebook, looking through Facebook and I see this dog named Booyah, mm -hmm. big Rottweiler named Booyah. I said, I want Booyah. <laughs> and um, I got in touch with the breeder, um, Wendigo Rottweilers. Um, in Minnesota, and that's where I came. That's where I found Leo, and he's just like Boya. He's just a big, big old teddy bear. I didn't jump in to buy a dog right away. Um, I searched Rottweilers, and this um, breeder popped up, and I saw Boya. Boya mm -hmm. <laughs> was an awesome dog. Um, beautiful dog, big, big, big dog like Leo, big bear. And, um, and I just kept going back to that page, looking at Booyah, and I said, I want a dog just like that. And, um, and then just from that, um, it just leads you on to different groups. And mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm friends with so many Rottweiler groups. Mm -hmm. So when you said you want a dog just like that, like, like the specifically big... like you, the big block head, you know, was that a difference from what you had at home already with Zoe? Yes. What you were seeing, like, okay, I want there's a different type of dog out there that I'm that I'm looking for, and it, okay, so that's what it was for you. Right. Well, it, Zoe was a didn't come from a breeder. When I got Zoe, I didn't even know about breeders. All I knew was you know pet stores. Mm -hmm. um, Zoe, she was a what they call an American rot, which is skinny and long legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was Zoe, and I wanted a boy. I wanted a boy that, you know, showed prominence with a big head and I saw Booyah and I just, Booyah and I fell in love with Booyah, yeah. So, Booyah is what in relation to Leo? No relation, just the breeder. Okay, just the breeder, okay. Booyah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Do you remember when you went down there to go pick up Leo? Like, what was that experience like? I didn't go pick him up, he was flown in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Flown in with Delta Airlines into BWI. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and we went to meet him, uh, picked him up from BWI Airport, and um, my husband actually, he wouldn't let me take, he, first of all, he didn't want the dog. Now, now he won't let me take the dog out of the crate. He wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was just awesome. He was just the most beautiful little puppy that I've ever seen when, I, when we first got him. All my men pins had gone and I was uh, just left with um, Leo because um, my Zoe um, had to be put down. She was 14 and lived a long, happy life. So and then I was just left with Leo and it was just so, even though I still had one dog, it was, the house just didn't seem the same because I'm so used to having so many dogs around mm -hmm. me. Um, so I looked around again on Facebook. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And um, my husband again said, no, we're happy, you know, we got Leo, that's all we need. I'm like, no, that's not all I need. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I was actually in Florida getting my hair done during the pandemic. Um, and um, going through, get my hair done, going through Facebook and I see this puppy. I'm like, oh my God, she's beautiful. It was Lily. And, um, and I uh, texted the um, Sean, the owner, and he said, well, She's taken, but I'm not sure if the guy can take her. Now with the pandemic, he's not sure about his job, but he can have her or take care of her. So he got in touch with uh, with the guy that had put down the deposit for Lily. And he said, yeah, just just go ahead and, and, and um, give her somebody else because I can't take her. Wow. Yeah. So it just landed right in your lap. Oh my God, it was awesome. She was meant to be. Yeah, she's just an awesome dog. She was my um, emotional support animal while traveling from Maryland to Florida that we did every month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a house down in Florida, so we travel a lot down there. And she would go on the plane with me and, and sit right next to me. She, she was like she was trained. People, she was six months and people would say, gosh, she's so well trained. Mm -hmm. She hadn't even had a class yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. A testament to her temperament. Yes, yeah, she's, she really is. She's, uh, 
she's not as bossy as Leo. She listens to me when I tell her something. Mm -hmm. She's much more mellow. So did you have um, Lily shipped or did you go down to Mr. Brantley's or how what was that process like? So that was another process. So I, <laughs> I was down in Florida and the next, I think the next uh, two days we were flying back to Maryland and I see this and I need to have this puppy. My husband won't drive me down <laughs> to Alabama from Maryland. He's like, how far is that? It's like, mm, I don't know, it's far. So, and then I'm asking Sean, can you ship her, you know, through the airplane? Cause that's how I got Leo. No, we, they weren't doing that because of the pandemic. And um, come across this app called UShip. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got her up here. Somebody, nice. um, yeah, you log on to UShip and somebody will um, accept your. Nice. Yeah. I've never heard of UShip. You just put me on something new. I didn't know. Yeah, that. UShip. Yeah, so UShip is an app. I've only used it with Lily, but UShip is an app that you can ship anything from a cow to a car. It, you know, whatever you want to ship from point A to point B. Um, you log in there, so I said, so I logged in there and I said, I have this puppy that I want somebody to pick up from Alabama and drive it up to Frederick, Maryland. Interesting. I never heard of this. Yes. So like the, the Uber is shipping? Yeah, it's like an Uber <laughs> thing. Yeah. So if someone's going to pick up an animal, um, they have to be certified and trained in taking care of animals. Got you. So it can't be like, you know, the 18 wheeler guy that <laughs> ships lumber. Got you. <laughs> so this lady, um, I think she does rescues. Um, she she uh, got on the app and said, I'll do it for you. I'm actually coming from Alabama to um, Massachusetts. So she's gonna come right through well, Maryland. <laughs> She says, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up your puppy and drive it to you. And she did all the way, all the way through. She texted me every step of the way where she was with my dog nice. and drove it right to my house. Nice. Yeah, it's an awesome experience. Lily was dropped off at my house. <laughs> I went over to the minivan as they were pulling up because she's lady was texting me saying, I'm in the neighborhood coming up in five minutes. So I'm outside waiting with a blanket, baby blanket. <laughs> I opened the door to the minivan and I'm like, which one is it? And she had like five dogs in there. <laughs> She's like, that one's your dog. And, um, and I take her out and like, I had tears in my eyes like I gave birth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I gave birth to her. And uh, I got a blanket around this puppy and she was just the most beautiful little puppy that I've ever seen in my life. Nice. So yeah, she's just so calm and so, um, she was different than my other ones. Leo's very robust and very bossy. She's just so calm and so quiet. Um, it was like having a baby again. <laughs> all, nice. Yeah, all over again. Yeah, she's worth every every little inch, every penny. <laughs> Did you feel more complete having Lily in the house immediately? Yes. Oh, okay, well, yes. that's, that's yes. the best thing. Yes, yes. Okay. I actually have a, a, a sign in my house saying that you can't have, like having a, having, Having uh, a dog is like ha is like eating potato chips. You can't just have one. Indeed, <laughs> I agree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> I'm here with my friends Sean and uh, Tiffany. Uh, we all met on Facebook as well. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany actually reached out to me because she found out that I had a, a dog from um, from Sean Brentley, and she wanted to meet uh, Lily because she was uh, Tiffany was searching for for another dog herself. And so I met her out here um, at the lake and uh, we became friends. And then I forget how I got in contact with Sean, how we met um, and then we, uh, through Tiffany. But and then uh, we found out that we have a puppy from the same litter. So, you know, they're siblings from um, Samson and um, Lorena. Uh, so we, we all became friends and we do walks out here on the lake. We're trying to make our group a little bigger. <laughs> I actually have another friend that I forgot that um, I could have invited her. I'm gonna invite her to come because she's got two Rottweilers. She shows one of them, one of her dogs. Um, but the breed is an awesome breed. I, people are scared of the breed. When they see me walking my dogs, they'll cross the street mm -hmm. to go on the other side of the sidewalk. Um, 
and those are the people that aren't familiar with the breed. Mm -hmm. um, and the ones that that are familiar with the breed, they'll come right up to me. Can I pet your dog? I love Rottweilers, you know? Mm -hmm. They're awesome, awesome breeds, awesome with the family and kids. They love to play. And, and we have a two year old um, granddaughter at home. They're awesome with her. Yeah. Nice. They're protective. They sleep in my bed. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you being here on Rottweiler Vlogs episode. 139, I 139, believe. yeah. 139, this yeah. is your episode. Yeah, thank you so much. And I appreciate My you being pleasure. on. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.